Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? I am super excited for this video because we're gonna be doing a full Brnovich swatch party. If you're not familiar with Brnovich, they are an indie brand based out of Belarus and they have some really, really beautiful shadows. I recently tried them for the first time and I was blown away. The brand actually reached out to me and asked me if they could send me some more products to try. They're planning to do an affiliate program. It's not exactly in place yet, but they wanted to go ahead and do a test run with me. So if you guys are interested in any of the products I'm talking about today, you wanna to try anything from Brnovich, from the day that I'm posting this, which they're actually doing a, rest a huge restock of their site, right as this is going live, from February 25th all the way to March 5th, you can use my code AmyLoves to save 10% off on their site. So like I said, it's an affiliate code. So if you use it, I do make a commission and I really, really thank you for your support. Okay, so what we're gonna be swatching out today in this palette here, I have a mixture of some mattes and some more like metallic shimmers. They're more traditional shimmers. And I did purchase, oh, I wanna say three of these shimmers myself. And then all of these other shadows were PR. I guess I should hold it like this. I also have this palette. This, you guys, you're not ready. I feel like I need to like do angels singing as I open this. Okay. These are not pressed glitters. I repeat, not pressed glitters. They're just absolutely stunning, amazing, sparkly, duo chromes these are their sparkle shadows so i'm probably gonna save those toward the end just because they are so sparkly i don't want to have sparkles everywhere as we're beginning if i was going to recommend one thing from burnovich it would definitely be these shadows and then we also have a bunch of palettes here so this one i purchased myself then the other palettes here were all sent as pr so just to let you know really quickly the mono eyeshadows the mattes are three dollars and 49 cents the shimmers are $3.99 each, I believe. The sparkle shadows are $6.49 each, which I feel like is a pretty fair price just considering like how magical they are. The palettes, which all have five shadows, are $15 each. And we'll get to it in a second, but this one here is actually a sparkle shadow in the aquamarine palette. I believe the Sansara palette is $25. There's also free international shipping over $75. I think I'm gonna start off with the Sansara palette. So first we have 118, which is just like a soft cream. 151, a soft satin. And then 172, which is a metallic bronze. We have 104 which is like a really pretty rosy tone. 170, which is a brown metallic. And then 173, which is more of a copper metallic. For the last row, we have 123, which is another like rosy tone, but it's more of like a brown rose. We have 171. And then we have 174, which is a pretty taupe. Okay, I wasn't in frame because I'm the worst. There's the last three shades. And then there is the entire Sinsara palette swatched out. I don't know what I was thinking doing my swatches over like the whitest area of this entire carpet, but here I am. Now let's go ahead and do the Aquamarine palette. So first we have 160, we have 164, and then X25, which X25 is one of the sparkle shadows. It's just a super beautiful teal. And we've got like a blue shifting duochrome and a green shifting duochrome. Okay, then we have 204 or 204, which is like a metallic kind of like smoky emerald shade, super pretty. And then 205, which is definitely more of like a satin blue. I do wish this palette had some mattes in it, but it does have some pretty shimmer options. All right, now let's do the shell palette next. So we've got 172, which is a like soft neutral. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not sure what exactly to call that one. 109, which is 
more of like a yellowy bronzy gold a little bit more of a satin and then 107 which is a really beautiful silver i'm gonna do some swatches on my hands just so that my arm doesn't get worn out really easily because we have so much to swatch today. We have 120, which is like, a, it's a satin, but it's very, very soft. Kind of has like an orangey, coppery touch to it. And then we have 171, which is a nice matte black. And I will say this matte black is super smooth and creamy. Um, I forgot where I swatched it. It's not dry at all. So there is the shell palette. Next we have the Onx palette and I really like the tones of this one just because it's very neutral. It's not like super cool tone. It's not super warm tone. It's just like right in the middle. So it's cute. Also, in case you're wondering about this labeling, um, it was not labeled by the brand. This is all me. I know it's very ugly. It's just very functional and it comes out. So just wanted to let you know. But first we have the shade 105, which is like a super light beige H2, which is a really cute like satiny, Kind of like a soft golden tone it gives me like a little bit of mac nylon vibes and then we have 125 which is such a pretty neutral brown there's the first three shades then we have 102 which is like a very neutral matte brown and then 106 which this is like a deep charcoal gray So there is the Onyx palette. Okay, next we have the Tourmaline palette. We have 164, which is a soft, like white with like a lime green kind of reflect. It's super pretty. I actually have this one as a single shadow as well because I accidentally bought both. And then I have 198, which is a super cute soft pink. And then we have 180, which is a soft green, which is so, so pretty. I just really love the tone of that. The first three shades we've got 132 which is a matte berry and then 193 which is like a deeper like gray green i feel like that just swatched really bad but when i used it i was able to build it up on my eyes so there is the entire tourmaline palette i feel like as i'm swatching them all out the mattes don't look that impressive but having used them on my eyes, I feel like they do work really well. They're very blendable, just like an easy, soft formula. Okay, next we have the Tiger's Eye Palette, which this one is like another neutral palette. It's a little bit warmer, but still not like orangey warmth. So I think it looks really pretty. So first we have H17, which look at this. This one, it does feel a little bit more flaky, but it's a super beautiful light bronze. We've got 190, which is like a soft kind of like peachy shade. It almost has like a little bit of a pink shift to it. It's very unexpected. 188, Ooh, such a pretty bronze with like a little bit more of a green. Man. That orange shade, like I don't even feel like you can, can you see that? It is such a cool color. Got two mattes in here, so there's number 173, which is like a light, light brown with a little bit of peachiness to it. And then 138, which is a nice rich brown. Man, I keep forgetting that I'm swatching on my hand. Okay, so you can see there's fallout coming from that brown, but also see how like soft and pigmented it is. It had actually took over the other swatch before it, but hopefully you can still kind of get a feel for the palette. So that is the entire Tiger's Eye palette swatched out. All right, next we have the Obsidian palette, which is a very warm neutral palette. We've got 195, it's just a soft 
kind of peachy shimmer. 184, which I mean, look at the metallicness on that shade, just ridiculous. I'm not normally a copper person. Like that's probably one of my least favorite shades to wear, but this one just looks so, so pretty. Got 178, which is definitely more soft, not quite as intense as the other shades. And it kind of has like a little bit of like a grungy greenness to it. Kind of reminds me of Flamethrower from Makeup Geek. Okay, next we have 103, which is another copper, but it's definitely a little bit more red, a little bit less flaky, a little bit more satiny. And then 106, which is like a terracotta brown. So there is the Obsidian palette. Now we have the Jasper palette, which I think that this one is really beautiful. Probably one of the more interesting color stories is not quite as neutral. So first we have 183, which look at that, like just oh, so shiny. We have 202, it's like a soft olive. 165, which this is not labeled as a creative shadow, but look at that. Like it's super, super sparkly. It's a duochrome, has that like purple base, the blue shift, super intense. So pretty. Like I feel like that swatch doesn't even do the shadow justice to how it looks in person. I mean, I know you can see it, but like the texture is just so pretty. Then we have 108, which is a soft rosy shade and 203, which is a really pretty like burgundy. So I feel, oh my gosh, I'm dropping the burgundy super super creamy and pigmented my goodness so i feel like as far as functionality and color story goes this is probably my favorite palette it's just super super cute i really like the shades that were included so that is the jasper palette so let's go ahead and jump on in to these shadows which like i said are a mixture of some mattes and then also some of the mono shadows have shimmers but then there's also the creative shadows which are just like metallic shadows so I don't really see like a huge difference in between the formula of those, but it doesn't really matter. As long as you know the number, you can go ahead and search them on the website. So first we have 116, which is just like, kind of like a grazy shade. We have 122, which is a very soft satin. You can barely even see it against my skin tone because it blends in super, super well. Next we have 128, which this is a really nice, soft kind of gray, olivey tone. So we have the shade 150, which is a soft brown. You know what? I have one more shade from them that is in a DIY palette that I did. Oh, I need to go grab. Let me think about where it is. Okay. I recently did a video like doing a Naked Greed palette and I used one of the Brnovich shadows in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it back out. This is 196, yes. This is a really great brown. Super, super easy to work with. Super soft, just great staple matte shadow. All right, so for the shimmers, let's go ahead and start off with this one right here, which is called 129. Such a beautiful olive. Look at that. Okay, now we have a beautiful light lavender. This is 133. I just love a good lavender. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think this one's 161. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. It has like a deep purple base with a blue shift. Mailman. Got mail. Okay, let me swatch this real quick. Get it there. You can see the shift so much better. So stunning. Do the shade 164, which I already swatched. So I'm just gonna skip it because we've been there, done that. That's the one I bought a second one of. We have 177, which look at this green. 
like the perfect like St. Patty's Day green. Got 191, which this is a white with a green shift. Probably, other than the light purple, this is my other favorite shade out of these ones, 194. Oh my goodness, it is the most beautiful gold with a like warm base and a green shift. I die for shadows like that. Okay, I'm pretty sure I just swatched that off camera again, but there's the shimmers. Okay, so last but not least, we have the sparkle shadows, and there are a total of 25 of these shadows. I do have all of them, but I'm not going to swatch all of them today. So the I have number 25 in this palette, so we'll kind of swatch it at the very end when it's time comes, because it's the 25th shade. Um, and then the number one shade, and then also, I believe, number 19, they are described as being pressed glitters. So number one says that there's large glitter particles, and I believe number 19 says that there's large sequins or something to that effect. But the rest of the shadows, all these ones that I'm gonna swatch and show you today, these are, to the best of my ability of what I understand to know, I say. Also say, just throwing it in there, there's only one shade in here that I don't super love, and it's this one here. I don't know if you can even tell just looking against all the other shades. That's the only one where I feel like the formula is a little bit different. It's just very, very like dry and soft compared to the others. Um, and it's not a bad shadow. It's just not as good as the other's formula. So let's jump in. So first we have the shade X02 and this one is such a beautiful shadow. It has like green and teal flips to it. Just so, so stunning. So when you swatch it, you can feel like it's super creamy. It doesn't feel nearly as like wet as the Adept Cosmetics ACI shadows, but I would say that they have a similar effect on the eyes. Next we have X03, which is a beautiful soft peach. And honestly, I feel like the swatches, okay, really? Really? I feel like the swatches don't 100% do them justice because they just look so beautiful on your eyelid. Then we have X04 or X04, which is like a soft, soft baby pink. I mean, it's like a peachy pink. Such a beautiful shade. Next we have X05, and this is a really beautiful soft gold. I want to say I wore this one. Did I just swatch that off camera again? Oh my goodness, just <laughs> leave me a dislike. It's fine. <laughs> I deserve it. <laughs> but anyways, I did a look with that shadow and then some other mattes from Brnovich in my About Face first impression, in case you want to see that one used on the eyes. Next we have X06, which this is probably one of my absolute favorite standouts. This one's so creamy. And I don't know, you can see that shift there. You see the teal. Oh my goodness, it is just such a stunning shadow. Okay. So beautiful. So you have X07. This is such a stunning, like, deep orange with, like, pink and gold shifts. So if you like neutral shadows, I feel like this whole row here is absolutely stunning. Okay, next we have the shade X08, and this one is stunning. Look at that. I don't even know exactly how to describe this. It's like a pinky purple shift with a very muted base, but just like in the best way possible. So stunning, I mean, goodness gracious. Okay, we have X09, which is a really beautiful, like cool toned, soft purple base with like a silver shift to it. Kind of reminds me of Mystic Moon Pie from Davina. 
Davina's might be a little bit more purple in the base, but similar idea. So we have X10, which is such a beautiful copper. It has an orange base and then like a very vibrant pinky peach shift. So this next shade is X11 and it is a beautiful soft purple. This one is not quite the same level as sparkle as some of the other shadows, but it still feels really nice. And then we have X12, which this is kind of like your typical like blue brown kind of shade. Let's watch it off camera again. Why am I like this? I don't know. Next we have X13 and this is definitely a favorite. This is one of the prettiest shadows ever. It has a purple base with the most intense green shift. I mean, wow. See the purple there a little bit better. Wow. Okay, next we have the shade X14, which you can see it does have a pretty shift to it, but it just feels drier than the other shadows. So there's what X14 looks like. X15, this one is super cool. It has a very bright orange base with a pink shift. This one, I don't know, for some reason it just doesn't wanna to stick to my hand or my arm when I swatch it as much, but look at it on my finger. Like it's super, super intense and pretty. It just looks kind of sheared, swatched out. Next we have X16, which is a deep hot pink. This one doesn't really seem to have like a shift to it. It's just a really intense finish. Look at that, super sparkly. So pretty. Okay, next we have the shade X17, which is a beautiful, beautiful green. We have X18, which is a beautiful teal. It has like a deeper like blue to it with like a little bit of like a lighter shift running through. It's not super obvious, but it's very dimensional. Then we have X20, which I mean, look at that. My goodness. We have X21, which this is another favorite. It's just such a beautiful purple with a golden shift and a little bit of like a little bit of blue going on as well. It's just absolutely stunning. Oh my goodness. Next we have X22. This one feels more like a metallic and it has like a thicker texture to it. It's not nearly as thin as the, the pink one here, but it's also not quite as sparkly as some of the other shades, but it is a really cool, it's really pretty purpley blue shade. But again, not a standout. Next we have X23, which this one oh, is so beautiful. Like it just has such a deep purple base and then like the blue shift. If you like a darker, smoky, just super intense metallic, this one is it. But you can see that pretty well. Look at that. Shook. Okay, we've got X24 here, which this is like a little bit of a softer shade. It's a little bit more like a soft berry base and then like the light purple shift to it. And this one feels super creamy. See, again, swatched out, it looks super weird, but then you see it on my finger, and my finger is a better representation of how it looks on the eye. Of course, just to show you them together, here's the 25th shade. So there's the final row of sparkle shadows. I mean, they are just so, so pretty. I had a quick funny story I wanted to throw in, but I didn't want to waste time in the beginning, so I thought I'd just throw it in at the end. Bernovich, when they reached out to me, they were like, we made your code live, um, and then we'll choose an expiration date whenever you decide like what timing works best for you, because I knew I wanted to film like a corresponding video. 
this isn't sponsored or anything. And they messaged me that at like 3 a.m. I didn't even see it. And at 5 a.m. they messaged me again and were, they said, somebody just used your code. I'm like, I haven't told a soul. So whoever you are, you got lucky. You gave me a good laugh because I guess that's the, um, the advantage of having all of my codes the exact same. But anyways, I hope that this video was helpful and I will see you in the next one. I can't wait to go wash my hands.